Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about installing Jenkins on your local machine. So there are a number of ways how you can install Jenkins on your local machine as well as server. You can install with the Docker, install with the Kubernetes and there are native ways to installing Jenkins on different platform like you can install on Mac, Mac, Windows or Linux. You can install in servlet container like Tomcat and Wildfly. There's a common way like you can install with the var file. This the installing using var file is common irrespective of your uh, operating system. So as part of this tutorial, we'll see how to install Jenkins with the help of var file. So you can download that var file from this Jenkins website. This var file contain a Jetty servlet container. Jetty's this container or the Jenkins can be started or installed on any of the platform means any of the operating system the way uh, the, or the steps you should perform are same irrespective of any operating system the only prerequisite is your Java check the Java what Java version is supported with the version of Jenkins you are installing we'll see a proper demo how to install and set up Jenkins first time but let me explain at a high level how you can install and run this is pretty straightforward download that war and you have to run this command java hyphen jar jenkins dot war the file name can be anything i'm just mentioning jenkins because when you download you'll get the file with this name this will install or run this jenkins on port 8080 if you want to install right port 8080 and you can access that localhost 8080 colon if you want to run this Jenkins on any other port. So what you can do, you can add an additional parameter while installing or starting uh, like hyphen hyphen HTTP port equal to whatever your port is. Keep in mind this port P is capital means in uppercase. You can also change the directory where you want to install that I did not mention but I will explain that. To download that jar, uh, war file, you should go to the Jenkins website, installation and the section war file. You will see here down latest a section to download the latest war file. Just click on this, you'll get this version. Once you land on this page, you will see the different options to installing it. Just install the uh, stable version. So I'm installing here. So you can get the war file from here, the first option. There's other options to install using different ways okay just install this means download this first so the way how you should run is same irrespective of operating system i'll show you on the mac machine you can perform same operation on linux as well as on windows so here i'll open terminal i kept my war file inside this folder so i'll open my terminal you can use command prompt on windows and terminal on linux so as i said run that file java run that command java hyphen jar and jenkins war file the first time it may take some time the next time when you start it will take less time so quickly you will see a message like it has been started jenkins is fully up and running same time you will see a password here as well jenkins initial setup is required admin user has been created and the password generated so this is the password right in earlier versions you may get this password at a particular location if you don't find that password means let's say somehow you miss this here you can see the location where this password has been uh, stored while when you open localhost 8080 means when you access the jenkins so what i'll do let me copy this from here itself and go to your browser hit localhost because we started on default port so open 88 and hit open it will say to unlock this this uh, jenkins setup you have to provide admin password so either you can get it from here or there the here is the path where this initial password has stored so what i'll do i'll take it from there and continue so the first screen will be customization Jenkins. So there are two options, install, install suggested plugins or select plugins. So as you are new, so always install the suggested plugins. This, this contains the, some plugins which are essential for your further work. It may take some time, 
to install these plugins. So as soon as this plugin installed, it will ask you to create a user, means first admin user. There's the option either you can skip this option or you can create a user. So if you skip that later on, you have to create one user. So let me create a user right away. So I'm creating a user with name geeks underscore code book and I'll save it. And it will say the this uh, instance configuration, this URL, you can change the URL, but I'll keep it set the same for now. So just save and finish. And it will say it's ready. Jenkins is ready and start using Jenkins. So as your setup is complete, you will see the home screen and your Jenkins is ready to create jobs. So I hope you understood this was the simplest way of installing Jenkins. In coming tutorial, we'll see the other ways how you should install Jenkins using different ways. If you have any question, please add your comment.